Lion Street and 10th Street. It's a really nice building. 3403 10th Street. It's on the 6th floor, 610. Video isn't very good, but right here, 3403 10th Street. Hello. I'm gonna go in my car to talk to you because it's still too much. I'm just a little upset right now. Between lemon, uh, I think I said lime, wasn't it? There's the DA's office, there's the jail, yeah, between lime and lemon. Give me a minute here, folks. All right, this is why I'm upset. I went to the Mark Tarcano's office, asked if I can talk to somebody. And basically, the young lady went to the back, and she asked me what I was there for, and I said, to save our birds. So she went in the back, and she came out, and she goes, oh, uh, we'll have to make an appointment. I said, with who? Some lady named Ling. And uh, that's not how I'm used to. When she went to the back to ask somebody, whoever that person is, I asked her, oh, can I talk to that person? Oh, well, you have to make an appointment with Ling. So, what's the purpose of us going to a building, going to an office, when we can't talk to anybody? So, I think our next protest should be right out here. Uh, an excellent location. Um, good corner. Lots of traffic. And we need to uh, let Congressman Mark Takano that his staff refused to talk to somebody, save our birds when we actually came there. It's not like they reached out to us. It's not like they're coming to, uh, you know, where all the kill teams are killing our chicken. So um, we're gonna talk to uh, Kerry and the rest of the staff, and we're gonna see if we can create a an event to protest right here at Congressman. Mark Takano's office, if they're going to be so, what do you call it, uh, so professional that I require uh, an appointment to, to talk to somebody for two, three minutes, well, I guess we're going to have to teach them that when we the people show up, they should answer their door, all right? We have to answer their door. When they send their little U.S. government vehicles to our homes, we have to answer the door. So the, the poor receptionist, I told her, is, I got no problem with you. The problem I have is somebody back there should have came up and talked to me, all right? So folks, uh, Mark Takano's office, I know everybody's really busy this weekend. Monday's a holiday, but uh, I just think I just saw City Councilman, 
Anyway, so we're definitely going to do this next week. Don't know when, but we're going to... Yeah. Same with this uh, Ward uh, 5 councilman. So anyway, folks, so, right? Next week, let's schedule something, what, Thursday, Friday, next week? Uh, to make sure... Or maybe Tuesday. I don't know. I can't really talk right now because I'm pretty upset because I'm not used to this kind of treatment. When I go to a government or any government facilities, they're always very nice, very cordial, and um, give me my two, three minutes. Even if, uh, as a matter of fact, I got to go check in with um, Senator Ross's office. They were very nice to me last week. You know, maybe they didn't find anything, but we should be treated nicely in our government building not be told oh because uh, I told him I said well let's make an appointment now oh you have to call this Ling person and make an appointment with her I don't know who Ling is Ling ain't my boss Mark Takano uh, is my representative I don't know who Ling is I didn't vote for Ling Ling ain't nothing to me Ling ding ding ding, ding got nothing to do with me Mark Takano that's who I want to talk to alright so do me a favor guys call Mark Takano's office right now let's get a lot of calls in there and tell them they shouldn't have done this to uh, John Dunloss because I came in there to give them two or three minutes. I All I wanted to ask them was where they stood and ask them to forward the message to Mark Takano and find out where he stands on saving our birds. Is he going to support us or blow us off? And right now, as far as I'm concerned, Mark Takano just blew me off at his office. All right. Thank you very much.